Welcome to today's video, where we will explore a popular method of technical analysis, parallel channels. Parallel channels are a simple yet very effective way to plot support and resistance. They can be applied across various time frames and markets, including stocks, commodities, indices and cryptocurrencies, making them a versatile tool in any trader's toolkit. So, what are parallel channels and how can we use them? They are one of the most essential technical chart patterns. The goal is to spot the chart range, which is the boundaries marked by the peaks of swing highs and throats of the swing lows. So, these are the highs here and here, and these are the lows and identify the two parallel lines within them. So this is the first line and this is the parallel line to it. These lines rise in the case of an uptrend and fall in the case of a downtrend. The third type of channels is the horizontal range, where the price is neither rising nor falling. This is the BNB &B chart and these lines are parallel. These are horizontal lines. At the end of the channel, there is usually a breakout in the opposite direction. Until then, however, we can very elegantly trade reactions to parallel lines. Parallel channels work because they visually represent price movement patterns that many traders use to shape and develop their trades. They are based on the most basic building block of technical analysis, the trend line. This is the simplest way to determine if an uptrend, downtrend or equilibrium prevails in the market. If the price forms a series of lower highs, it's a downtrend. So there was a high, this is obviously lower high. Yet another lower high, this was a false breakout. This is lower high, another lower high and breakout at the end of the channel. Now, if the chart shows higher lows, it's an uptrend. If we can't really identify the direction of swing highs or swing lows, the market is probably in an equilibrium, also known as rotation or balance. As with any geometric tool in technical analysis, traders shouldn't expect perfect textbook examples of trend lines and channels. Financial markets are imperfect and full of pitfalls, such as false breakouts, like here, as well here, obviously here and here, where you see the entire candle below the channel. Another common mistake beginners make is wanting to see the patterns they've learned everywhere. The goal is to recognize the pattern that the price forms, not where we want to see it. And it's equally important to accept its imperfections. This way, parallel channels will work for you. As I mentioned earlier, the basis for plotting a channel is recognizing that price forms lower highs or high lows. So now I'm going to remove this channel and show you the method of drawing it. In the first case, we connect the falling highs, the tops of the candle wicks, with a descending trend line and extend it. So I'm using the trend line and connecting this high with this high. And I'm going to extend the line. This creates a resistance line, which we expect the price to continue respecting. In the second case, we connect the rising lows, the bottoms of the candle wicks, with the ascending trend line and extend it as well. The ascending trend line acts as support bouncing the price upwards and maintaining the uptrend. Next, we draw the parallel line to this trend line. We can copy the original line, duplicate it and move it across the chart. Now we have the second line. This gave us the same angle to the X axis, the time axis. We look for the swing point, the price peak, on the opposite side of the range. Usually, this was the first point, the first high, which I connected with this one, and I'm looking for the point at the opposite side between them. So this could be 
the proper point, this one. However, Atas has a drawing tool that makes this process easier and also plots the mean value simultaneously. I will remove these two lines and I'm going to the drawing objects. And here you can see the channel which I can use. However, before I will place the channel at the chart, I will increase the magnet sensitivity in pixels. Let's set it to value close to 30. Now I click the channel and this will automatically magnet it to the high of the candle, like so. I'm clicking it, I'm extending it over this high, like so, and I'm using the opposite side, this point. So let's look at the settings of the channels drawing tool. It's simple because all we expect from this tool is to draw a channel. We can choose the colors of the channel. I can also change the middle line. There are quite often reactions to the line, so this way we can see it. And also I can change the color of the area, change the transparency so that we see the candles behind. And to see it even better, I will send the channel behind the chart by clicking this checkbox and I'm closing it. So what do parallels channels consist of? They start with a baseline drawn across the tops or bottoms of the candles. You identify the swing highs and you connect it with the first line, the first boundary. A parallel line defines the opposite side's candle wick end. So this is this line. And I mentioned usually you would like to find a extreme on the opposite side between those two points. So this is the middle point. Exactly halfway between these two lines lies the 50% line, this one. Some tools plot other line ratios like Fibonacci coefficient, but we will stick with two baselines and one center line. In practice, you may hear different names such as parallel channels, trading channels, trend channels or price channels. Each time it's the same pattern. By respecting the channel's direction, you can open highly probable trades. For a descending channel like this at Nasdaq, look for shorts rather than longs. Open your position at the top of the channel. So I connected this point with this point and selected the point at the opposite side to draw the channel. Now I can short from the upper side of the channel to the midline, which is here, and again here. So you could have entered short position here, targeting the midline or adding here, and the price made it to the opposite side. This was the midline and there was a movement to the opposite side. There was a short opportunity here, targeting the midline here, but you could have targeted the other side of the channel as well. And again, price did not make it to the upper line of the channel. However, from the middle line, you could have shorted to the opposite line of the parallel channel. For a rising channel, do the opposite. Buy at the bottom edge and target either the middle or the top edge. A special form of parallel channels is horizontal channels called ranges. So let's get back to the BNB coin I mentioned earlier and I will show you the trade possibilities here. So this channel, this parallels channel was defined by these two highs and this low. So the first opportunity was to short this position, target the middle line or add here to the short position because the price made it to the opposite side. If the parallels channel is horizontal like this, so not ascending nor descending, you can basically do the same trade in the opposite direction. 
you could be wondering how you recognize that the Parallels channel is still valid. You can use an indicator called VWAP as a guide. I'm going to indicators, looking for VWAP, adding it to the chart and setting it to weekly. Now I need to increase the number of days looking back. Let's increase this to 200. If the center line of the VWAP is straight like this without any significant movement it indicates equilibrium and the price is likely to return to the center line of the vwap or to the opposite side of the channel another simple tool appreciated by beginners is using a simple line chart instead of a candlestick chart in atas you go to the menu and switch to the line chart which is here I'm selecting the line chart and it might be easier for you to recognize the parallels channel. I'm turning off the VWAP and I'm removing the parallels channel. And as you can see, it's maybe easier for you to spot it. And this is basically the same channel we had before. Using the line chart helps many users identify channels more easily at the beginning. Now let's return to the classic candle chart and use a few more examples to show how to plot and trade the channel. So this is S&P 500 and let me draw a channel here. This is an uptrend, obviously, so I'm going to plot the first line at the bottom of the trend. Let's use this point and this point and extend the line like this and use the point at the opposite side. Now you see quite nice reactions to the channel here, for instance, this was a false breakout. There was a touch of the middle line here, touch of the middle line here, touch of the middle line here. There was a nice reaction here and so on. Just like with every other method, it's important to build the system with individual blocks. Parallel channels are a method that can be perfectly combined with other technical analysis techniques. So let's get back to the Bitcoin chart daily and I will show you how you can engage VWAP again. I will use yearly VWAP. However, I need to use the encored VWAP because Atas by default doesn't have the possibility to draw the yearly VWAP. So at the time axis, I'm looking for January the 1st, which is here, and I'm clicking here. And this is another helpful tool. So how can you basically trade the channel? The easiest way is to wait for the first candle in the desired direction. In this case, this was the point I started drawing the parallel channels with. This was the second point. I connected these two points and this is the point at the opposite side. This was the first touch of the channel and the first candle in the desired direction is this one so i could have opened long here this is another touch of the channel with the support of the yearly viva and i could have entered long position here at the closing of this green candle the first candle in my desired direction i could have opened long here targeting the middle line this was a perfect target. The price made it to the other side of the channel here. I could have opened short position here at the closing of this red candle, the candle in the desired direction and targeting the middle line, which is here. But the price made it even to the opposite side. So again, the first candle in the desired direction is this one, the green one. And I could have targeted the middle line again. However, you can use another techniques such as the liquidity levels or order blocks. We talked about these in our mini series on the smart money concept. Next, it's important to set a trigger on which you will enter the trade. The trigger will confirm that the current chart action at the channel edges indicates the willingness of market participants to react to the boundaries. The trigger can be a very simple first candle in the direction you want to trade, 
or a sophisticated method built on footprints and delta tracking. In the final part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can open the trade based on the parallel channels and what confirmations you should be waiting for, what trigger you would like to see at the chart. I will show you different triggers with different difficulty, so it's up to you what method you will use. So let's start the market replay. This is Nasdaq chart, five minutes, and Nasdaq is in an obvious uptrend. So we will be waiting for the ascending parallel channels. By the way, there was an obvious change of character here. The price broke through this level and created lower low, took out the liquidity here. So we expect the trend to reverse to the uptrend again. Yeah, this is good. There's another liquidity here. It's being taken out. And this might be the low of this swing. This looks good. Now we will be waiting for a higher low, anticipating that the uptrend is starting. Price is creating higher highs and higher lows. However, I don't really expect the, uh, this to be higher low because of these equal levels. You see here that these levels are basically at the same price level. So these are the double, triple or quadruple bottom. Price likes to revisit these areas. Yeah, and we have double bottom at the higher time frame here. As you can see, these lows and this low are at the same price level. So price is very probably going to revisit it. Yes, and it is happening here. So price is revisiting the area below these equal lows and we will be waiting for a high low. What we need to see now is the change of character. For instance, this high needs to get broken to change from this downtrend to an uptrend where we are going to plot the parallel channels. Yeah, this is the moment I was waiting for. By the way, you have another possible change of character here, but this was more obvious. So now I can draw the parallel channels using this low, which is the swing low, and using this low as the anticipated higher low. Now, very obvious point between those two lows is this high. So I guess this is the parallel channel, how it could look like. I'm going to change it a little send it behind the chart so that we see the candles and i'm also going to check ray here which is going to extend the parallel channels to the right now we will be waiting for revisiting the area of the parallels channel at the bottom or at the top yeah this is great price revisiting the middle line of the channel and is returning to the low boundary and I will engage a new indicator called Delta. This indicator shows us high values at the left and right side of the footprint, at the bid side and at the ask side. And as you can see, here is something happening. There are really high values at the Delta indicator. And we will be waiting for price to break through this low trend line. And it's just happened. The price broke through the low line at the parallel channels. And we can engage another indicator called cluster statistic, which will give us more information about delta, about volume, information we need. I'm also going to change the settings for cluster. I'm going to turn on the POC, the POC of the candle, the point of control, which is a level with the highest volume at the candle. It's currently transparent. I'm going to change it to yellow. And now we will see where the candle is closing. And basically you see it here. The first row is delta. Look at the values. 
336 minus 3, 15, 69 minus 34, minus 693. So there was a huge selling at this candle. Minus 876, minus 1000, minus 648. And now here at this candle, plus 182. This means that the reversal might be happening. You see that the delta is increasing. There are still higher and higher values and the candle closed. So let's look at this situation. We were waiting for the reversal from the downtrend to the uptrend. Delta changed from the negative values to the positive value here. You see it also here at this delta indicator. There were very high negative values of delta and all of a the sudden there was quite high positive delta. Plus 773 is one of the highest numbers at this chart at this moment. I turned on the POC of the candle. This is yet another sign that the trend is reversing very probably. Pay attention to these red candles closing below the POC. It is the yellow line. It's closed below, it's closed below, it's closed slightly below the POC, this closed below the POC, but this green candle is not only green and with a change of delta, but it is closing above its POC. So this might be a very good opportunity to enter the long position here. Long position is in the direction of the parallel channel because the bottom line is ascending. And if you don't want to go into this depth of Atas platform, you can simply enter the position as soon as you see the candle in the desired direction of your trade. But obviously engaging Delta, cluster statistic and POC of the candle helps you to see more signs of the reversal. Let's open the long position here. Let's place the stop loss slightly below the swing low and let's target the opposite side of the channel, which gives us the risk to reward ratio of 3.553, which is good. And now let's see if we will be successful in this trade. The first target, by the way, might be the middle line of the parallels channel which was hit at this very moment i'm going to extend the tool a little because we are targeting the upper line of the parallels channel not just the middle line price is creating high lows still oscillating near the middle line and target was hit at this moment so this was an example how you can open the trade based on the parallels channels and engaging different types of triggers. Thank you for your attention and I wish you the best of luck in your trading.